I'm going to warn you all up front here today. I have a really, really cool idea for the moon base, but it's going to be a lot of base building and a lot of slow designing and planning things out. You've got to stay with me. But there will, of course, be incidents. Oh, we're still going to face our regular threats, and apparently there are moon raiders, as we found out yesterday when a group of angry astronauts burnt down my stockpile. Oh, no, no! We're a colony of eco-friendly robots up here on the moon with all the resources we could ever possibly need. Efficiency should absolutely be our main focus here, not only because we're old hard machines but also because it's it's better for our resources it's better for what what limited power and everything that we have up here on the moon right we should be trying to conserve what we've got because it's not as if we can just get more seeds but at the same time harmony with nature was always our big focus right it's it's been uh, the original design it's been a big part of the ideology somebody did suggest in the comments yesterday an amazing design idea for for the base itself it's a little bit cold hard steel right now. It's all basically steel. I don't know that I'm going to be able to execute perfectly this idea in my mind, but I'm thinking big glass domes, corridors, plants lined along the middle with flowers and trees and, and transparent roofs. Be water features, natural streams amongst the domes. We're going to make this look like a damn paradise. I'm also thinking modular base design. We have one area of the moon dedicated to industry. We have another area of the moon dedicated to, say, life support, biodomes, hydroponics, animals. Another area dedicated to recreation and housing for both the androids and for any refugees, or in this case, prisoners that we've got. And how do we do all this? Moon railways. There was this really great looking mod that popped up last year. SRTS Trains builds off the same mod that the spaceships use. We can use that to carry resources, in theory, around the map. I've never used it before. I will admit it's primarily for the aesthetic of having lots of different areas on this moon map dedicated to different things and then have them all interconnected. I think that'd be really cool. Oh my god, and we could connect them up to the... Uh, to these kind of safety bubbles we've put in for the refugees. Then they just take a train back to the main kind of living area. Man, this could be very cool. It's going to be a lot of effort. It's going to be a lot of work. But I mean, it's not as if we haven't got the resources. I mean, we're sitting on over 24,000 steel. And there's plenty more that we can get with deep drills and mechanoids that can do the drilling for us. Before we can focus on big, heavy industry like that, we do need Asimov to cheer up a little bit. Still very sad. Sad about everything that happened. Probably very sad because only two episodes ago, his entire base got nuked. Tends to, uh, tends to have an emotional impact. <laughs> and first things first then, I've got to tidy up all of this stuff. I've got a bunch of skips in the stockpile. We're going to try and condense everything down and, and make it all a little bit neater. And then we can start planning things out properly. But what I would like, because we can get sandstone chunks from here, sandstone chunks, we turn into glass. We need to either resurrect Carver or throw down a drilling mechanoid. I suppose... What if we just bring you back and then use the spacesuit that I've taken off of the prisoner? That could work. Oh, my God. Asimov's, uh, Asimov's just breaking out of, of dazes or being downed and then immediately going back into it again. God damn it. Okay, we're going to have to be very careful that Asimov also doesn't wander outside into an area that decompresses. Um, Because if he wanders outside of that door right now, he's probably just going to die. I have an idea. I'm going to brick up every single one of the exits besides this one. I think the chance of Asimov wandering incidentally all the way through the brace through through multiple different airlocks out these two doors i, I think it's very likely right simultaneously if we get a bit more heat going we can use the android resurrector kit to bring carver back presume the resurrector kit works just like a serum there we go and then we aim it at carver and then descartes can bring him back Hey, there you go. Reactivated to minimal capacity. It must be rebooted before returning to full functionality. Okay. Um, so is that just a case of doing the same? Oh, it just needs to reboot over time. Right. I thought we might have to reinitialize it or something like that. Oh, great. Okay. You're not even missing anything. Perfect. Let me flick this back on. We'll reinstall this here so we can make a shitload of glass. Because it's going to be a very glass heavy base. It's like unsuspend and do until we've got all of the glass. Do forever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, why not? Do forever. That's okay. It basically just becomes a full-time job for Carver and Plato to constantly churn it out. That seems fine. And then glass is just made with sand. Because, of course, we I added the terraforming mod so we can terraform the moon. Right, okay. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, we need a... Uh, I think the stone crushing bench or something like that lets you uh, pelt rocks into sand. Stone cutter's table. There we are. Um, let's throw that down in here too. Then we might as well throw down some cabinets, given that this is going to be the full-on workroom at this point, eh? This is all temporary arrangement. I think because of the amount of hassle it would be to move the uh, the biodome, because of the transparent roof and the and, and everything just being set up and working fine and not risking the seeds, it might be a good idea to build around this the the kind of 
the habitable zone and then move the industrial zone, I don't know, somewhere into the mountains a bit more so we can do a lot of mining if we need to. Take out, what the hell are you doing? You're riding the tortoise? What, what about the decompression? You moron! So even, even if the animals are restricted to a certain zone, they'll still... Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Take that. You're going to kill the turtle. Take it home. Oh, oh, no. No, Evo. You're the only... One of the only two things that bloody survived that previous base. Oh, shit. Descartes. He doesn't know what he's doing. It was supposed to be a nice, peaceful day about building a very nice base. You got turtle deaths in the first five minutes, you friggin' moron. Oh, Evo. If we pick him up, will it... No! Why did you not just rescue him then? What the hell was that? I mean, not that apparently not that we'd have got him home anyway. Oh, well, well done, Descartes. You're a damn murderer. Oh, he had some seeds. Oh, cherries. Oh, garlic. Hey. That means the only thing that survived all that nuclear annihilation was a single chicken. I'm going to name you uh, Lucky. Lucky the chicken. Hey, there we are. Make sand from stone chunk. That's what we're after. Uh, do that forever. Sure. Okay, the problem is this is now three robots I'm basically having on permanent glass duty. So let's just do that until we've got a reasonable amount. And by reasonable amount, I mean... 5,000 glass, which isn't quite reasonable, I'll admit. I mean, just because this is temporary doesn't mean we can't tidy it up a little bit, because it's going to take a very long time to build a more permanent area. A few lights couldn't hurt. Slight side effect of having the whole power grid dependent on solar panels is if there's an eclipse like there is right now, we're in a little bit of trouble. What the hell are we going to do? We can't use geothermal generators. We can't use wind turbines, very sadly. Um... We have no other form of power right now. Let's put the vanimetric generator on to do research. Oh, I can't even queue it up because we don't have the research bench. Right, okay. Well, for the time being, it's just going to have to be cold and dark for a while. Well, that's kind of a cool idea. We could have a, a separate power district as part of the moon, right? Using these large advanced batteries. They're more efficient. We throw down some advanced solar generators instead, which are bigger and way, way, way more expensive. Oh my god, Asimov is not totally depressed. Oh, but it's probably the plus 70 from Catharsis doing that. Oh god. Entombed underground. I wonder if transparent rooms would change that. Probably not, because it just counts as being in a room, right? Uh, missing green mark, bold sculpture. Okay, so we need an ideology room. Nobody knew in the colony. I've got some bad news, Asimov. In case you haven't noticed, you're on the fucking moon. Healthy trees. <laughs> in the past quadrant, we didn't destroy many trees at all. I mean, the moon giveth, the moon taketh away. What can I say? I think we start planning to uh, basically turn this area then. Or, or why don't we build? Uh, let's say we'll build up here and then we have to take out a mountain. If we build out this way, we've got to move the solar panels. I, I think maybe this zone then. Or all of this area in the bottom left, we start turning into some sort of living quarters. The kind of habitation area. I don't really want to touch any of this because this is working fine. You know, we've got we've got resources coming in. We've got consistent component production, which we really do desperately need. All right, uh, let's get to planning. This is going to be very optimistic. Oh, don't tell me after all that scrounging, we still didn't find any cloth. Uh, that might be a slight problem. Cotton? Seven <laughs> raw cotton. Okay, um... Right, we may have a slight problem here then. We need eight cotton to extract seeds from it. Good, 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 good. Okay, uh, that's going to be one for the trade ships then. I did build a comms console up on the moon, right? Um, we do have one. We just haven't had any trade ships yet. So we've got to keep a very close eye out for that. So the plan is then this is going to be our ideology room. It's going to be enormous, to be fair. We've got the entire moon to build on. It's relatively safe up here. Corridors are going to be enormous. They're not going to be completely solid glass. I'm just doing this to plan it out because I think that would look a little bit monotonous having it like that. Then for the floors then, because again, we've got to go for the harmony with nature, right? Oh, grass. I wonder if I could find a way to layer that down because that would be really cool. Gl glass walkways between the enormous moon domes would be quite nice. What I was thinking, right, is we have paved tiles down the edges, maybe like concrete baby in the middle, uh, and then, I don't know, say uh, the, the hedges might work quite well. Hedge, um, preferably that hedge right there. All right, I'm going to have to ask you to stand down right now. I'm doing harmonious nature-based stuff, and you're really, you're really getting in the way of that. Okay, Asimov, back off. Get him, Plato. Nice. The dream team. The actual goddamn dream team. Come on, squad. Nice. Oh, look at them go. Oh, that, that, one, that one didn't work. You know what? That one, that one doesn't matter too much. I, I'm still very proud of them. Amazing. Just don't see the point of a prison break. Azathoth, where are you going to go? <laughs> I mean, it's okay. 
It's not quite perfect. It's not what I had in mind, but it's the best I think we can do for now. We've got to be careful about using too much wood. Because, sorry to hammer this point home too much, we're on the fucking moon. I can't just get more wood. I mean, we had trouble with that anyway, right? Because of the Asimov being very upset about the whole tree situation. But Carver, 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 you, you're going too far. Um, like, I want you to get a load of sandstone chunks, but this is this is a little bit too much. Um, let's turn that off for the time being. Go do something else useful. Oh, sweet. You've already converted them over. Hey, nice work, Asimov. Okay. Uh, what do we do with you now, though? You're set to release automatically. No, I'm going to have to stop you there, Cicero. I appreciate the enthusiasm to try and kill a man, but that's a bit too far. Oh, but I could give this spacesuit to Carver. And they are very, very hard to come by, aren't they? I can't recruit them because they're unwavering and loyal. I just don't know what to do with you. What if I put you in a drop pod and launch you at the planet? Would that count as releasing them? Caravan contents would be lost. I wonder if we get like a penalty for marooning someone. What if I blast him back at his faction? Yeah, no, that works, right? Oh, but they're only 14. Well, to be fair, in RimWorld, children are considered everything above the age of 13. So it, we're not really breaking our rules in that we should keep children to make sure they're, they're educated well. Simultaneously, I also can't recruit them. So I think the safest thing we can do at this point is just to blast you off back to your, back to your people. No, I really presume we would have got a mood bonus for sending them back to their faction. Well, never mind. Off you go. Enjoy your freedom. Well, in that case, you can piss off then. We banished a prisoner in such a way that there's almost no way they'll survive. No, how could they possibly survive being sent back to their own faction? You ridiculous game. It's okay. I, 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 I'm, I, I've had my fun planning my weird little avant-garde building plans. I think before we dive into something this enormous, even though it's pretty quick to put all this stuff together, I think maybe it would be a better idea to get a server room set up so we can upgrade some androids and also rebuild some other sentient androids. Right now, we're running a colony on Asimov, who's supposed to be in charge of uh, plants. And then, of course, Carver, who's only really good for mining. This is all a temporary structure, right? But there's no reason why we can't make it slightly neater, given that we've already got, like, a lot of a lot of quick workforce. Like, we can, we can build buildings pretty damn rapidly. So I'm going to make all of this nice and symmetrical. I was about to say, hey, I've just finished... Oh, I'm just about to finish setting up a temporary lab where we can churn out some more robots to help us with the building. Turns out there's an ice age. Atmospheric composition of the planet drastically changed, resulting in a significant drop of temperature. I presume up here on the moon that isn't going to affect us. Maybe it's an ice age on the moon. That's crazy. Wow. We've got to get used to all these very, very cold temperatures now. I've given the ship a proper little docking bay here with these kind of umbilicals coming out. So in theory, we can get to it without people freezing, but we'll see if that works in, in practicality. I've replaced the room that that was parked in with a lab. And hopefully now we can build some people to help out with whatever the hell we've got going on down here ambition unbridled over the top ambition so incidentally our uh, alchemist reached out famous modder uh alchemist who has made a bunch of stuff i uh, like half my foundation pack is made of alchemist mods um one of which of course being seeds please light the fork of seeds please and alchemist said that in their playthrough they are using the Agrahans. So, for whatever reason, or whatever reason it didn't work for me that first time, is clearly a problem with the, the mod list or the load order. So, in theory, they should work perfectly fine now. I did test it earlier, but I have made some more changes since then. Gotta test this before we do anything else, right? Because if we can get Asimov's Agrahans to be running the food on the moon base, that is an amazing aesthetic. Echinoid moon farmers is the things a little Asimov could have only dreamed of back when we were on the planet. I mean, it also wouldn't have made any sense on the planet, because... They wouldn't be moon farmers then, would they? They would just be farmers. That's what you call someone who grows crops on a planet. <laughs> oh, we need serious help. We're in a lot of trouble. Oh, God, these power issues. That's probably down to the ENIAC. That's things 5,000 watts, so we could probably turn that off. Honestly, I reinstalled that because it was in the stockpile, and I love unnecessary decoration. Um... You know what? Fine. Let's throw down some of those advanced solar panels. We can always reinstall them, right? Be careful with this because even though we had quite a few advanced components, I don't want to waste them all on solar panels. We've got so much more to build. There we go. How are we looking now? Grid excess of about 37-ish thousand watts. Maybe more batteries would be a better idea. Again, this is all, this is all very temporary, right? This is just a necessary evil. I'm going to move those apart slightly in case there's a fire, because I'd hate to lose one of those when they're so bloody expensive. Oh my god, are we still not able to keep the lights on overnight? To be fair... Oh, there we go. Hey, nice. Okay, we found a nice middle ground where we can keep everything running overnight. That's good. When we get an eclipse, though, doomed, obviously. And one Agrahand. Are you about to... Harvesting red lantern. That's what we like to see. 
Are you going to plant the new lentils now? Oh, it's working perfectly. There we go. So it was just uh, it was a load order issue. Oh, amazing. That's so good. So I think one Agrahan can probably deal with that. There's not that much work to do, right? It's not as if we've got a massive farm going on. I said I wasn't going to waste all the advanced components, and then I went and built an enormous tower. I mean, it looks so cool, though. How could I not? That's crazy. I mean, you never believe it, but the vacuum of space turns out is really good for cooling server racks. Now, let's throw together a few constructoids, and then we can really get this moon base going. Ooh, hello there. Vanometric generator is done, and more importantly, a new technology level. We have reached the industrial era. Have we? <laughs> have we with our moon base okay no that does make sense you can't argue with it i, I mean if you're gonna take it at face value we've also reached the medieval era I'd, I'd argue we're probably slightly beyond that at this stage though now i wasn't originally going to roll this into the full base but i've been working on it more and more just testing things out and it's kind of it's kind of just ended up becoming that got a dedicated moon aquarium you like this we've got we've got radios and fish tanks in a solid glass room where you can look across the lunar landscape at rocks rocks and fish moon chess who doesn't love moon chess <laughs> all it's all very experimental okay so i think what i'm gonna do now we've got a big dining room here right so we're gonna connect up the uh, kitchen to there this i i think we'll shoot off to some bedrooms maybe over in this direction and then at some stage no 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 no. let's shoot the bedrooms off in this direction we'll put the kitchen over here and then yeah, but that's quite far away from the hydroponics isn't it genius but that's what the trains are for. So what we could do is we could throw down the railway station, quote unquote, here. Uh, and then we connect that up to... Maybe I do keep this as the industrial unit and we just retrofit it. And then we have all of the lentils either being shipped over to be turned into biofuel, which you would have in an industrial area, I think. Or we send it over to the kitchens with a rail line. I think that could work quite well. But let's have a look into this rail station. If I just type in, like, train... Uh, oh, here you go. Locomotives. Perfect. Metal railways, steam locomotives, and then diesel locomotives. Again, this is the SRTS trains mod. That sound pretty good. And those we can fuel on lentils. Although steam locomotive seems a bit more environmentally friendly, I suppose. I, I kind of like the idea of the vanimetric generator being like a centerpiece for the... Uh, for the industrial buildings. That seems quite fun. Maybe I'll swap this out and throw it down in here. And with that, we've got the first tier of trains. You've unlocked the ability to craft your own railways. Research new locomotive types to rule the rails. Uh, work in progress. Yeah, it is worth pointing out. It is a work in progress. So we'll have to see exactly if everything's working fine. Um, Rail. That sounds good. And then we throw the rail down somehow. I think we have to swap to the shape right. Yeah, there we go. Um, and then we swap the... We, we throw the rail down here. Now, even though it does look like it's it's one block thick... They are actually uh, two blocks wide. So we have to do something like that. Okay, cool. So let's say, for example, I don't know, the rail station is going to be there, right? So if we want to move it to that, the rail corners. Oh, that's the size of the curve. Oh, gotcha. Oh, that's really cool. Right, so we could just throw that one down like that. There you go. Amazing. And then that just simply connects up like that. Hey, this could be pretty cool. I want to make a standardized rail platform right before we commit to it so i think what we need then is uh, because the railway I, I mean ideally we'd have it as one big circuit so that you can go from i don't know let's say we have some the, the power plant over here you can go from the power plant back and loop back around to the residential area or something like that so let's open up both sides of it we probably want a dedicated platform and then the rails running through the middle like that that's all right Okay. Oh, we won't build it for now. I'm just doing this to, to plan things out a little bit. And then, I mean, hopefully we get up to the stage where we can... We can transport people between the bases. We can pick people up from the edge of the map. I guess I'll run a big railway all the way around the edge. Sure. And then connect it up to the kind of inner railway. We can have all these people travel around without spacesuits. I can, I can actually build new colonists without having to worry about sinking the massive amount of resources into making sure everybody has a suit as well. So anyways, and I'm building mechanoids right now rather than... Where is it we build spacesuits? From here. Uh, that's why I'm building mechanoids right now rather than more, more droids. What about I mean, it's not massively expensive, but it is expensive when you haven't got frigging cloth. So on the subject of that, we've got to make the androids we've got the best possible, right? So we've got uh, six network database and then the five network analysts. These don't actually cost any advanced components. So those I've, I thought I'd throw down a few extra ones of. So now uh, let's connect, say, uh, my good friend. I mean, Carver's doing art for us because I wanted to make the, uh, the, the this area look a little nicer. The ideology room. 
I guess you can take on artistic. You've got a passion for it too. I've already learned so much today though. It seems a bit of a waste. Um, we throw a bit more into today. So today you've lost experience in mining. So hang on. If we spend, oh, we got 6,000 points. We spend 100 of those points. You're going from minus 369, nice, to minus 279. Honestly, I'm going to sink a bunch of those into here. Or we could just like spend all of it. <laughs> <laughs> we could. I don't think it's necessary. But given that we're at maximum, we might as well spend it on, on something, right? And I think that's a good use of points. Because we've got two droids doing everything, and they are going to naturally lose experience in some of the skills that they're not using. Like, Carver right now obviously isn't doing any mining. So using that to mitigate it while we while we build everything back from scratch seems like a pretty good plan to me. Oh, steam locomotive. There we go. Uh, so now we can build a Frisco 1503. I'm sure that's how they say that. Uh, oh, that looks pretty good. Have I accidentally made the station exactly the right size? Oh, no, look. It needs to be like a block wider for it to be totally equal. Okay. I'm desperately looking through one of the 500 deco mods looking for a vending machine. Anything that will make it look a little more... I mean, look, it's, it's a goddamn moon railway station for androids. Why would they have a vending machine? I think that Asimov and Carver deserve some dedicated bedrooms. Because again, they might be androids, that's true, but they're sentient. They've got moods, they've got thoughts, they've got feelings. They're, they're people. They're robot people. But they are less than people, as we've established with the game rules. I think the very bare minimum I can do for them is like a bedroom each. I wouldn't do it for Cicero, Plato, and Descartes because they are just a glorified vacuum cleaners with arms. Sorry to say it. They, I mean, look. Cicero and Plato, or was it Plato and Descartes? They've been here from day one. You know, they, they've really been the, the glue that's held this whole thing together. I don't know anything about trains. Is this, is this a good train? Do people like this type of train? I don't even know which way is the front. Uh, I'm going to presume that way. Yeah, as if it's going in this direction. That's got to be right. 2,500 steel. How are we looking on the resource front? So we are pretty low on advanced components. We're totally out of regular components. Oh, shit. Uh, 14,000 steel remaining. Pretty low on plasteel, but it's it's still good enough for everything we need to do for the time being. We haven't really been using a huge amount of plasteel. The only reason we haven't got regular components is because Asimov's been busy building. Because we've got, we've got effectively two colonists right now. They've got a lot to do. Hey, here we go. And boom, one train. Man, that looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. What do we fuel it with? I presume, uh, chem fuel. Max passengers, 200. Fuel type, chem fuel. There you go. Now, it can travel across world tiles. It is still SRTS. They can technically fly. Obviously, we're not going to do that. It will look a bit weird. It's not It's not designed for that. It's designed for going around a map, you know? The, the, the model author did say that you can use it for traveling around world tiles. I mean, it would make sense if we were on the planet going between, say, one base and another, maybe blasting a train from the moon. This isn't Back to the Future 3. It doesn't make much sense. Now, apparently, I should really pretend I don't know for the drama. Um, I did read something in Discord that said we can still get enemy raids even though we're here on the moon. But the last raid was like... Oh, my God. It was like 40 days ago? Yeah, roughly that. That was, of course, when we were on... Uh, that was when we were on the planet, so that doesn't include the retaliation we had to uh, quote-unquote pollution. I guess I just haven't really got many enemies up here for the time being. I don't know how that works, but we are playing on Cassandra Classic Strive to Survive. I have been for bloody ages. Uh, you can kind of tell when I moved away from <laughs> Phoebe Chillax because it got a lot more intense very quickly. Oh, and as a reminder, that bit here was when Moon Wealth started to be counted alongside your regular wealth as well. It was patched. So that was all of that steel we mined up jumping up there. And that was when we were horribly nuked. I presume, anyway. Actually, no, that can't be right, because, look, we've got... No, of course, we've got the extra Manhunt packs where we were on the planet. Yeah, no, that does make sense in hindsight. This is looking all right to say that this this was kind of just a, a test bed. It wasn't meant to be the main part of the base. I guess the next thing to do... Sorry, you can survive in... I never, ever tested it if the mechanoids were fine in space, but they are. That's good. That would make a lot of sense. And now I want uh, bedrooms. I want bedrooms for Asimov Descartes. What I want really is is a way that we can expand out and add a lot of bedrooms. So what I'm thinking is we'll put a little kind of capstone on it, for lack of a better word. And then let's expand all this out so we've got another one parallel on, like, basically as far over as we can build it. Maybe something like that. Maybe. Because I was thinking we do this, and, and if it all measures up right, if I haven't completely messed this up, the mid section of here I was going to have connected up to another bubble here, which will be a recreation area. 
or uh, yeah, and then we and then we throw the kitchen off of that so that it's in line with the uh, the rail station, so we can take deliveries. Big brain moment. Presuming I've measured it all right, otherwise I've really fucked this up. You were given a second chance, and you couldn't even be bothered to measure things properly. Okay, so halfway point then. Bear with me. I was I was one block out. I was one block out, but it's fine. Okay, it's fine. We haven't stopped building anything yet. This is still very redeemable. Oh, I did have it right the first time. Damn you, moon architecture! <laughs> we, all, we all have fun here. Right, let's, <laughs> let's try and put that back where it should be. Was it there? Was it measuring from the inside or the edge? I don't remember. What's the betting I messed this up again and now it's two blocks wide in the other direction? No, that's right. That's right. This time it's right. We put it right back the way it was. 26. Okay, that should be it then. So from here, from, from this wall to here, I'm showing you this so that you can back me up here. 26, and that to there is 26. This is the middle, and then this should come up to here, and then you come across that, and that should be the middle of that dome. So then, watch this. This is magical. If we copy this into here, uh, a little something like that, it does not line up. Hmm. Of course it doesn't line up. I mean, look at it. A uh, child. Any any a creature with object permanence could tell that. <laughs> I've gone completely mad. Okay, uh, let's... <laughs> For fuck's sake. Um, I guess we can have a very little walkway. Your little walkway? Like three blocks? Oh, it's fine. Oh, it's moon, moon time. We love the moon. Just a single tree in the corridor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's cursed. Oh, I like that so much. Yeah, no, that's it now. That's 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 just a single tree to access a tripping hazard between the kitchen and the dining room. Why do I need a kitchen so large? That's probably a better question. No, there's literally nobody in this colony that eats meals right now except for the fucking chicken. Massive, massive overkill. Welcome to the channel, by the way. That's what we do here. Massive overkill. I'll be an amazing tagline. There you go. I mean, it worked out, just not quite as I had anticipated. Do I hate this design now? Do I hate this? Yeah, I do. Okay, so here's what we're going to do instead. Um, why plan out all these bedrooms that I don't need when I could just add bedrooms when I need them to have? So let's throw, let's just throw that down there. Perfect. Amazing. I just don't know what you expect. You put robots in charge of building a base for humans that we don't even have. Clearly, this was always doomed to fail. Oh, look at him. He's a happy frosh. <laughs> <laughs> this is totally very much unintentional. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, it looked look fine when the floors are down, okay? It also occurred to me I was building all these bedrooms out of out of glass, but I, I imagine people might not be too pleased about that for, you know, privacy reasons and all sorts of nonsense like that. They can't build curtains, can I? Because we, we don't have any sort of fabric. Good. Really, really good. I mean, this is fine, though. This is fine. It'll still look good. Just bear with me. That is as far as it goes because we're out of marble. I'd love to build all the walls out of marble, too, but we're just going to have to do with steel for the time being. So, uh, because we're in world, there's a very, very sensible game. Let me introduce you to Carver. Despite me placing this deep drill on what is clearly uh, rough marble, we are, in fact, getting granite chunks. So, uh, instead, I think in Vanilla Expanded Mechanoids, there is some sort of, like, automatic miner, right? Uh, been a long time since I played it. Medicinal compounding, drone assembly, somewhere. Maybe, maybe drill. Try, try drill? Masonry Metallics Factory, that's, I think, the one. We do have a couple of the mechanoid components from VFE Mechanoids, but we can also convert over subcores to... Uh, uh, mechanoid components and vice versa. Oh my god, this was such an easy mood game. Not that we've had any problems with that. Asimov has very much gotten over his people being nuked en masse. Let's turn Kava into a therapist. In this very lovely room. What does it count as? Very impressive temple. That's nice. I will admit, I was open for a little more than that, but to be fair, I haven't decorated it very much. Oh god, only two of them come and attend, can't they? That is a frightening sight, if you'll pardon the pun. This is the first good candidate for our proper factory district. There we go. Auto drill. Right, so we need a few more components which we can throw together again. That's because Asmol's been very busy doing um everything. Rebuilding a utopia on the moon. Man, it does look good. It's getting there. I'm not happy with it yet, but it's 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 getting it's getting there. Um we don't need this. This is now drill room. Why not? Why not leave fish in the drill room? We are supposed to have harmony with nature. They can be the uh they can be the managerial staff. Why not? And as soon as Asimov's turned out some more components, oh raid! A Cyclopean construction. Hello. A mysterious message has arrived from a uh, from a machine persona. Okay. Um, got some sort of disc. Some bionicle. Well, because we're androids, of course. That makes a lot of sense. Some of the bionicle masks as well, I was told, uh, do protect you from the vacuum of space, which is amazing. That would let them wear different types of clothes. A Psylink? 
Why am I even considering this? Get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I've got a lot to do. I feel like the last thing we need is to be building other building tasks for other people. Oh, you're waiting for the train, eh, Carver? Unfortunately, you're going to be waiting for a while. <laughs> I mean, we haven't built the rail lines yet. It's a weird idea, isn't it, to build the to build the trains before you've actually got the rail lines for it to run on. That's I don't think that's really how they do it in real life. Oh, oh God, my aesthetics. You can't do this to me. Granite, sandstone, or slate? Huh. That's a problem. Ooh, hello. A bold sculpture made by Carver. Quality poor. Well, you're a bit of a shit Carver then, aren't you? <laughs> Look, okay, I moved the marble columns and the ceiling collapsed. It was a minor... Oh, God, that's actually still leaking. What the hell? Yeah, like, rebuild the roof, you morons. So I added this mod that popped up called Sustainable Drill, right? Turns out it, it allows you infinite resources, so I'm probably not going to use it. But I've got to respect it because this mod was randomly updated after six years. It supports two versions of the game, Alpha 0 0.16 and then the current version. Chad, Chad behavior. This lack of marble is nothing that modding can't fix. We'll just take all the other stone blocks and turn them into marble blocks. It's the most overpowered thing anyone's ever done. Free aesthetics. Oh, power's gone out, hello? Didn't We didn't quite get through the night that time. Why? What have I built? We haven't even built anything else. What, are these prop plants are using all my bloody power? And any moment now, we're going to get manufacturing. There we go. So with this, I can plan out the uh, quote-unquote industrial district a little bit better. That's going to be all of this. So we're going to basically bulldoze everything besides the dome itself because I don't want to build any more transparent roofs. I've actually swapped roofing mod to one that makes it so the roofs need uh, sin thread. So if we bulldoze this, we're not rebuilding it. So that's staying exactly where it is. I think to celebrate lovely moon base. I mean, right now it's a very unfinished moon base. Some parts of it are lovely moon base. Other parts of it are a deserted, horrendous ghost town. I think it's time we figure out how the rails work and we go on our inaugural rail journey. So let's put... So let's put everybody on board. You know what? You all get to see this. Is this, is this how we do it? We load it up like that. And then you all go in. Okay. And then... What the hell do I do? I launch? Okay. Uh, zoom in. And we go to this platform here. And... Nothing. Uh... <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Oh my god, the noise! It's magical! <laughs> I don't know what I expected, but um... Wow. That wasn't it. There is, there's a lot of potential. There's a lot of potential here. Lots of stuff we're gonna have to go get from the planet, like for example, the big area down near all the bedrooms, that's all soil. I was gonna make it a nice indoor park. We could throw down some hoop stones or some sort of outdoor games or something like that. It's going to be an Android Utopia. It's just this time we're on the moon, and apparently we have flying trains. I don't know how I'm going to turn this into an episode, because it's just been me building for four hours. I'm glad the raiders left us alone, though. I'll just double-check there isn't any conflicts there, but this is nice. I, I enjoy the building part of Rumod. I know it doesn't make for the most interesting aspects of, uh, of, of the playthrough. You know, it doesn't make for very good content, just building buildings all the time. But I think it's quite fun. I, I enjoy it a lot. So hopefully, oh, we're not, we won't go so heavy on it. I, I guess if I do any more building, we can we can edit it down into pieces a bit more. And we'll have a lot of planetary expeditions tomorrow. So it'll be a bit more dynamic. We'll probably come into a lot of threats. We'll have to make sure our androids have some non-lethal weapons as we explore out there. Thank you for joining me today. Thank you for being a part of this moon base. I'm, I'm very reluctant to use that word. Moon greenhouse for the time being. Thank you to Sean St. George Kish, Mr. Altissimo, Jimmy the Dryad's number one fan, Spaceman Joe for Aldous, Dr. Simba, Struggler, Zoe Meadows, Borderlands 2, Krieg, Silent Sentinel, Lycan Lover, Mordecai Zuba, Alex Warren, Ravenlock, Pika Pyre, Snow Lauga, Dr Dying Whisper, CS Grebo, Nick Danger 013, Utarrant95, Nephine, Salt Fox, Vanessa Greaves, Jacob... W1U, I love you too much, Chunchingo. Kane GB, Zarko, Yanev, Birdman, Dust, and Captain Lieutenant 
Rimbo. Thank you for letting my moon base exist. Thank you for being on the executive producer tiers over on Patreon. Much appreciated. Hope you're enjoying the other content that's been going up left, right, and center. Don't know how much longer I'll be able to maintain kind of three or, or so episodes every day or every other day. Because uh, there may be some big, big things coming soon. I've been saying that, I know, for like <laughs> nine months. Don't worry. It's taken as much as a toll on me as it has on you. I'd wager maybe even more. Thank you to Duke, Alex Grossman, Blake, Gorzong, Lunatic, Amazing Moosh, Riddle, Ms. Morris, Kraya, Elvin Sheely, Banana Master, Jamie Hall, Anamski, XD, Natalie Tyson, Emberha, Aaron McBride, Anthony Ryan, Erotha, Slinger supporting Sam Suka. You're fired. I'm going to find you. Sam's Super <clears throat> Cucumber, Kaiser Neron, Kalashi225, Raptor Mother, Dapper Gadaver, Travis, Whispering Egg, Typhon, Audrey Hershenson, and Jan Michael Vincent. Thank you for joining me. Come back tomorrow. Moonbase.